It is a beautiful fall day here in Nova Scotia, Canada. I'm wearing a t-shirt and it's mid-October. I got a tip about a cabin in my local wilderness area. I actually had no idea about this spot and I don't really know the quality of it. I do know that there's no door, but other than that, don't know much. So today, I'm here to go check it out and spend the night. One thing I do know, any cabin is worth checking out. It's on the back side of this lake here, along this shore. Wherever it is, it's not used much because there's no obvious trail. So I'm gonna just start walking back here to see if I can find anything. I do know it sits back a little off the shoreline. Oh, I see a roof. That's it. It's really not in that bad shape. It's pretty messy, but there's good natural light in here from the sunroof. It doesn't smell like rotten or mold. There's a decent amount of bunks, like for five people, but it's a pretty small area here. I wasn't sure about it having a stove, and I'm stoked that there's a mini stove here. No firewood. I did bring an ax and a saw, well prepared for the night. I uh, got a tarp too, so tonight I'm gonna put up a tarp along the back door there, and I think with a good tidy, this place might look really nice. Ugh, this has gotta go. These public cabins that people use, a lot of times things are left here with the thought that other people will use it, but in reality, it just rots and it's nasty. Rule of thumb, anything that has cotton or a fabric, get the hell out of here. It's not gonna do any good to the cabin. What do you guys think? Yeah, let's leave them. Let's leave them. A little about the cabin. It was built in 1985 by a friend of a friend of mine. And since then, he no longer uses the cabin because of old age. And now it sits and not used frequently deep in the backwoods here. You can tell that it's still structurally sound but there are some issues. You can tell that the roof is a little saggy and I'm sure there's some leaks, but overall, just some little maintenance here and there, this could really extend the lifespan of this cabin. Oh my God. All right. Final product. I cleaned up a lot of the nastiness that was on the ground, swept it all out of there, organized some of the tools, some of the recreational tools, removed a lot of the garbage.
feels good. Woo! Yes. I'm going to be adding some straight beef jerky and on top of that I'm going to add some cashews. The cashews add a good crunch and the beef jerky adds that protein. Good morning. I slept beautifully. The skylight was so nice with the full moon. All night there's this beam of light coming into the cabin and it was really nice. Usually you get into these cabins and it's pitch black, but this definitely adds a little bit of character to this, to this cabin. I gave her one final sweep, cleaned it up a bit, left some candles and a few other things, and now I'm gonna be on my way. This is a beautiful spot and I guarantee I'll be back. <laughs> 